The Dakota Access Pipeline is a $3.8 billion project that would allow hundreds of thousands of barrels of crude oil to be transported every day. Dakota Pipeline got to go, hey, hey! Oh, oh. Dakota Pipeline got to go, hey, hey! It's been at the center of controversy for months. People's health are, is actually affected by this pipeline. I just walked by and they were like, people need oil, and I was like, people need water. Growing up on the reservation and seeing so much poverty and abuse, that abuse still is alive. They argue that a rupture in this pipeline would put the Native Americans' water supply at risk. Bismarck said no to that pipeline because they felt like it was too environmentally dangerous. The Native tribes said no to that same pipeline, and there was no provocation, there was no respect. They're going to put it under the only cover they have. And although the pipeline doesn't go through the Sioux Reservation, they say it crosses through ancient burial grounds and would desecrate those graves. The government has already given Native Americans the shittiest land that they possibly can, and now they can't even respect those land treaties, right? They have signed hundreds of treaties with the Native Americans, and every single one has been broken. Every single one. People across the country have joined hands with the Native Americans. It's not about just like, you know, like oil over water. It's about like we're valuing these human beings' lives less because they are Native American, because they don't have money and they can't, yeah. like they're not, they're not as represented. Yeah. They've been camping out at the reservation. Even politicians and celebrities have been speaking out in opposition to the pipeline. We are not going to allow a pipeline to endanger the clean water that millions of people depend upon. People in downtown Dallas have also been protesting. It's frustrating to feel like you can't go to North Dakota, like you can't participate directly, but like at least we can do what we can here in Dallas to raise awareness and to show that people are not okay with this and this is not ethical. The pipeline would go through North Dakota, South Dakota, Iowa, and Illinois. So why do people in Texas care? Energy Transfer Partners, the company responsible for building the pipeline, is headquartered in Dallas. They have like a like a Native American chief, chief as their loyal. Oil, yeah. Chief yeah. oil, you know, like how fucked up is that, right? Like. It's just like adding insult to injury. Peaceful protesters have been sprayed with water hoses in freezing temperatures and been shot at with rubber bullets. They're, they're literally traumatized. They're still in a level of shock. And they're going through hardship just standing up for what they believe is right. But the water protectors have stayed resilient. But it's, it's, it's peaceful. Every person, every person has a voice. And the more those voices are heard, the louder they get, the more response we get. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers announced their decision to not approve the pipeline to cross a major lake in North Dakota. Now they'll have to look at alternate routes. And after months of standing up for what they believe is right, protesters have claimed a victory.